who in ECW recommends you for the job, brings you in? Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman. I had just left, you know, I was in WWF and Paul Heyman and I have been friends for years. In fact, before he got his big break, um, I was an assistant booker in Florida at the time. This was in the early 80s. Bob Roop was the booker, and I was Bob Roop's assistant. And Paul Heyman came in. Similar situation, like I went to Texas with my friend. Remember, I was a tag-along yeah, trying yeah, to get yeah. a job. Paul Heyman was tagging along with a guy named Tombstone, who wasn't a big name, but had a great body. He was from Baltimore. So Tombstone was booked in Florida, and Paul Heyman came in and was riding around with him for – the three months, the summer. And, and so Tombstone was leaving and Paul Heyman comes up to me and says, Fonzie, you know, Tombstone's leaving in two weeks. You think it's possible if I come to the ring and be his manager for the last two weeks, you know, mm -hmm. I'm trying to break in and this and that. And he had a pair of jeans on, a pair of old Converse, a t-shirt. I said, well, you certainly can't come to the ring like that. Can you have access to, can you get a suit and, you know, so on and so on. Looked like a million dollars. So, oh, of course. I didn't know his family's wealthy from Scarsdale, New York. He's got plenty of money. Didn't know any of that. So he comes to the ring with, you know, his nice suit on. And, and Tombstone's going to put, for the last two weeks, uh, put Scott Hall over, you know, the uh, Razor Ramon. But it wasn't. It was Scott Hall back then. So we let him come to the ring for two weeks. And he never forgot that. Then he left. And became a big star in AWA and WCW and all that. And we worked together in WCW. So he was a friend of mine. And he knew that I was leaving WWF. And he called me up and says, hey, Fonzie, I have this company. I haven't heard from Paulie in a while. So I get a phone call. It's Paul Heyman. Hey, Paul, how you doing? Oh, my God. We talked shit for a little while. And he said, Paul Heyman says, the reason I'm calling is because I have a company called ECW. I said, what the fuck is an ECW? <laughs> so remember, I worked all the major, you know, I never worked an indie show in my career. You know, I worked in Florida wrestling, Mid-Atlantic, WCW, WWF, and so on. Uh, Japan, all, all that. He says, well, this is a little indie company we have, and I got a perfect spot for you to come in because you're just coming from WWF. Uh, conservative sports entertainment and family entertainment. Vince wants the doctor, his wife, and his two kids at ringside. ECW was 19 to 32 years old, 90% male was the audience, and violence. So Paul Heyman says, I want to bring you in to stop the violence, be anti-ECW, you know, mm -hmm. be more sports entertainment like Vince wants the doctor and his wife and kids. So I was excited about it. He said, well, I'll bring you in for four weeks and you stop to try to stop the violence, but we'll continue on. And then we'll end up, they had a guy named 911 who was one of their big stars, choke slam you, and then you're done for the four weeks. We appreciate it. We'll pay you good. We'll put you on a flight. We'll put you in a hotel. Uh, I said, okay, great. So my character at ECW took off because people wanted to hang me because I wanted to stop their blood and guts and violence so i was personal so the people hated me because you know a little bit of blood i'd stop the match do a table i disqualify you know uh so i ended up staying there so he ended up putting me with taz and i ended up staying there five years yeah and making a nice check and being on top with van damme and sebu that's why we're talking today because of ecw now if people would just remember me as refereeing that's fine but my main my main thing is I'm a star. I'm so relevant because of ECW, because, mm -hmm. you know, I was on top there. So that's why I'm at all these conventions and stuff. Not because I was a famous referee and it was on my A game. It's because of ECW and all the publicity I got there and managed their top stars, Van Damme and Sabu. Yeah.